Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How are you guys doing today? Ah, can you take a wild guess where I'm going? Where I'm going today, what I'm doing today? Come on, take a quick second, leave a little comment below and let me know if you know where I'm going. Can you take a wild guess? Where am I going? Come on, I'll wait, I'll wait. Leave a comment, go ahead, I'm waiting. One, two, three, you leaving that comment? Where do you think I'm going? Come on, leave a comment, let me know, let me know. Oh, I think you might have guessed it right. That's right, you got it. We're going to Freedom Breeder. Woo, we are here. Bam, we, look at this place, man. You guys been here before, have I been? Why are we so close to my face? What do you guys think if we just like check out a bunch of cool snakes for the next 10 minutes, what do you think about that? There's a million, a million, well, a million, is there a million in here? <laughs> Right under that. We could just under a million awesome snakes in here. We're gonna look at a few of them. How about that? That sounds good to me We got uh, oh my gosh, I can't I don't even know where to start We're just gonna start pulling out some cool snakes and check them out. There are many reasons that I come here, but I'll show you at the end of the video wh What I really came here for looking at cool snakes is just a bonus. Hey look, it's Vince. Hey Vince Hey dude, you got a second? Um, I, I've got two seconds well, then call me back when you've got three. Okay, well, uh, we're just gonna start pulling out cool snakes. I'll show you what they are. Check that out. Male clown pied. That thing is sweet. You guys know I love me some clown pied action. Look at that. Woo. Some super enchy orange dreams. Oh, you heard the man. Super enchy orange dreams. Check that out. We got a super chocolate Mojave coral glow. Hasn't even shed out yet. Take a look. We don't even know what these are, so take a look. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm going with genetic stripe coral glow pides, but again, I have no idea. What do you guys think? This one looks like a leopard yellow belly pine that came from that. Same thing. Upper yellow belly pied? I don't know what it is, man. This is, there's too many genes. Obviously very low white pied, but again, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't know, it's stuff to play with, you know? Yeah. Always keeping the hobby fun. You guys okay with this? You mind if we just spend the day chilling out some badass snakes? Chicken, chicken. That's our word for the day. Chicken, 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 chicken. This is the new gene we're working with. Check this one out. So this is a potentially new Janine. So this Janine. Hey, this is Janine. Where Janine? This is this is a ah. I guess she likes my finger. This is a potentially new gene going on. So you got a lot of, it darkens up the snake and you can see on the back is very black. It shows very well with the coral glow. Incredibly well. You see how dark it makes the snake and you see that, that dorsal, that black dark dorsal. So if, if you guys were working with this and you proved it out as a new genetically viable trait, what would you call it? Do you have a name for it? What would you call it? Leopard yellow belly orange dream. <laughs> Leopard yellow belly orange dream coral glow. And here's one that hasn't shed out yet, right next to one that has shed out. Look at the, wow. Somebody is blowing me up. Oh my God. When is it gonna end? Jesus. Okay, hold on. This one is like the biggest mouthful of snake genetics I've ever had to say in my entire life, so I'm gonna need a little coaching on this. Are you guys ready to help me out? Spot nose, yellow belly, possible super pastel, coral glow. 100% headaxantic. 100% headaxantic, thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Can you even, can your mind, what, what is your mind doing with that? See, when I come here to Freedom Breeder, it kind of reminds me of learning to play guitar and I'd listen to Eddie Van Halen play. It's that same kind of feeling. It's like I'm learning to play guitar and I'm watching Eddie Van Halen play guitar. It's giving me that same exact, you guys know that feeling when you're like trying to learn to do something and do cool things and then you, you go and look at like what is possible out there if you've been doing it for long enough? That's the feeling I get. All right, get ready. 
You're okay, ready. You're all gonna, right. You're going to get bit. You're going to have too many snakes. All right. But the coolest thing about this whole pile of GHI ghosts, that was a GHI honeybee. Six eggs, all GHI ghosts, and it was to a hit. Oh, so you hit. So you hit. All, all of them. ghosts. All ghosts. From a visual ghost to a hit, and they're all GHI. Wow. And some spiders. So you destroyed the odds on this pairing. Yes. It was a GHI honeybee to a het ghost. You hear that? GHI honeybee to a het ghost and basically hit odds on <laughs> the whole clutch. Look at that. For those of you guys that are into the Arroyo Rio stuff, we it don't. It came out really nice. It really came out like really nice. Stuff. We don't know what it is. What do you guys think it is? Graham Hennegreffs, you watching this? What do you think about this? You wanna move out to that other room? A couple more here, okay. This one also may have some new genetic stuff going on, yellow belly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, the normals are like red and pinkish and like got this weird banding and then this is what the red and pinkish or the yellow belly has. Same thing, I don't know, it's pretty cool. And then here's some pastel, mystic lesser, 100% hit clowns. So here we got pastel, mystic, lesser, 100% hit clowns. Oogly moosh. You guys ever seen these before? I haven't. Coral glow, lavender, albino. Everybody likes that stuff. 100% hit pied. Super glow, 100% het pied. You know what that means. You're gonna make all coral glow pieds if you throw this to a pied. And it might be yellow belly too. Cause here's a coral glow yellow belly all day long. Whoa, look at that crazy looking clutch. What is this, power balls? Uh, I think the one in your hands is super spot nose. It's better than one of those is super spot nose. <laughs> we'll figure that out later when they shit out. But I think this is super spot nose cause it's got a little deformity on its like head a little bit, not too much. And this is a super spot nose. Do you see this one? Super spot nose, het red, coral glow. Dude, did you hear Female that? Email maker. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be the Powerball. It's too busy to not be. Clutch mates. We're gonna go check out the other room because we're burning up in here. And we could do this all night. We'll do this again. This is not gonna be the last time we come into the Freedom Breeder baby room and check out. Awesome. Now we're just gonna let Jesse pull out all kinds of cool snakes and we'll just look at them, right? Is that, is, that, is that still good with you guys today? We're just gonna look at cool snakes. Is that a good day for you? Because it's a good day for me. I can't even catch my breath, it's so good. Mystic Mocha, possibly pastel, possibly GHI. Insanity. It's a snake. Some red spectrum. Red spectrum, I don't even know what a red spectrum is. Looks pretty cool, don't it? It does look cool. Donut, yeah, it looks like a cool donut. Everybody loves a nice highway. Look at that little tiny paradoxic spot right yeah. there. Just a little nice. tiny one. Pastel Lesser Bongo. Super Special Cinnamon GHI Hidden Gene Woma. I personally don't know how you would ever call out all those genes. That's why I'm here so I can learn. I'll move on over there, five gene snake, and make way for, <laughs> for this. So we got here like a super gravel. These are cool. I don't have anything like this going on at my house. And it's fun to go experience it elsewhere, right? Yeah, those are some cool looking snakes, man. You know, no doubt about that. Special Hidden Gene Woma GHI. Damn, that's a good looking snake right there. See that? Uh, oh, no, we didn't look at the belly. <laughs> Check out the belly on this thing. Bellies, I should say. Them, them young bellies. Yeah, you know they speak English in Belize. Wow. That is a good looking snake. Dude. Bongo cinnamon possible spot nose. Het for attitude. Het for super attitude. I'm a little serious right now, bro. Mojave nannies. Oh, look at the variation. This one has more pixelated side pattern going on. This one is much more uh, contrasty and That's the defined. nanny gene right there. So this is a single gene nanny right yeah. there. 
Little tail stripey going on. This is a pile of nannies. Nanny, some nanny Mojaves and some bunch of nanny single jeans. So if you guys need somebody to watch out for your kids, we'll just pile all these right up there and <laughs> we'll be good to go. Look at that. That's a beautiful pile. Nannies for days. I mean, I think we got more snake footage than I'm gonna need for this whole vlog, honestly. That's a good thing though, because it means I come back like I come back every month and keep it fresh. You haven't even hit the imports. We'll just do one just to get everybody going. Looked at a lot of snakes, and there's plenty more that we could look at. But I'm gonna be coming back here more often so we can see some more snakes. But before we go, and before I show you what's sitting outside in my truck, we are going to take a look at one of the imports and take a look at that. We'll see some more of those next time, but just to give you a little taste of what you'll see next time. This is an import. Yeah. I don't even show that one. I'm gonna show you something. Oh, don't even show it. Check that out. Straight off the streets of Africa. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? What do you, what do you, but what do you really think about it? What I'd like to know is. What do you think? Could this be the what super? What do you think about it? What? What do you think? Could this be the super? Looks pretty super. <laughs> super duper. Super duper. Oh shoot, you didn't even see all this new. Next time you come down, I mean, all this shit's probably in the soul by the time you get down here, but. It's alright. We got it. We're good. Oh, Alright guys, uh, I just got back home. I'm not gonna say it's late, but it is. Okay, it's late. And uh, this lovely little drive, it's about a three hour drive for me to get to and from Freedom Breeders. So I'm back home and I've got stuff on the back of my truck and I promise that tomorrow I will show you what it is. Me and Jesse kept looking at snakes for a lot longer after I stopped the video. So many Freaking snakes. Sensory overload for me. I just couldn't even like process all the snakes we were seeing. I told him at one point, I was like, dude, we gotta stop. We gotta stop because I can't, I can't handle all this. <laughs> it's too much. I can't, it's like too much, too much. So we'll continue down that line longer and I'll show you what I got on the back of the truck tomorrow morning. I promise, I promise. And tomorrow we're gonna go on another trip. So thank you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.